So this is what new in Ruby in version 7.8. So if you go to menu, you can see in the menu the version running on vehicle and the version running on the controller. So what's new? There are some new options in the radio configuration. Right now on controller we have a single radio interface and on vehicle we have two radio links. So right now we are connected to the first radio link. Now you have an option to switch to the other radio link if a vehicle has multiple radio links. So you can just switch and it does switches automatically to the new link. That's useful for some cases. Also, when you want to change the transmission power, right now we highlight the detected radio cards, but you can show only the ones that you have. So you can quickly see the actual real transmission power for all your radio cards. Another option that has changed, it's in OSD, if you want to change the statistics windows, now you have to some of them the minimal option and it will just show you only the really useful information. If you switch to compact, you can see, you can see more information about video link so the minimal it's useful when you are flying and you still want to see important information like retransmissions and video packets but you don't want to overcrowd your your screen another option that was added in 7.8 it's the ability to have plug and play keyboard so let me plug in a keyboard So it will be automatically detected. As you see, we detect the plug and play USB devices. So now a keyboard is active and you can actually use the keyboard to navigate the menu. And when you plug it out, it automatically detects that you plugged it out. That's pretty much it. What's new? besides a lot of tweaking for the transmissions and adaptive video parameters. Okay, thank you.